like, do we want to create resources of our own so that our students can use? Yes, yeah, so you got to be a little careful there, right? Like, that the um, sh career capital is a good idea on this one. So the, your reputation precedes you. What I'm claiming is this is our chance. You know, certainly, um, I, I feel like I've done a lot of this work previously for myself, but I don't publicize the work that I do. I leverage it in my fucking class. Right. That's it, right? So like, you know, you said that you're like Johnny with a hammer. I'm fucking working all day doing all this shit. And then I just keep it for myself, right? Um, but I, the older that I get, the more I realize that um, one, that's that's kind of a shame because it means that like uh, ten, you know, hundreds of thousands of hours of work that I've done thinking about teaching. And then I look at my colleagues, people at, the, at Stanford, I can guarantee you there are some teachers at Stanford that don't fucking think about this stuff. They might be content experts, but they're psychologically damaging to their own students. And they haven't actually spent a fraction of the amount of time that I've spent thinking about teaching. And yet they're looked at as the best teachers in the world, which is just fucking bullshit. Like it, it just, it's, it's, a, it's a disservice to their students, right? Um, and so like, that, that's one of the things like for me, I wanna get that out there. I wanna like, but it, the only way to do that is to create a, a real um, expertise in that, in that frame and start to build career capital around that. And so I, I, at this point, there's no way that you and Steve nor I would be able to compute, compete with Susan Ambrose because we just ha we haven't spent the time to build that portion of our career, but she's in her 50s, right? Or 60s. So the nice thing is let's not compare ourselves to Susan Ambrose today. Let's fast forward a little bit and compare her at her stage of the career when we're at that same stage of the career, right? And so from that standpoint, like when, I'm, when I say like slow and steady, I think it's really important to build up the, the marketing systems and like really learn about that stuff now so that as we build up the expertise, we're actually creating, Cal Newport's not an expert in all this shit. He just writes a lot about it. And that, that's his career capital. And he was really strategic how he built it up, right? So let's do the same fucking thing. And the nice thing about, from the standpoint of you and Steve, one of the reasons that that's so exciting is you're not waiting till eight years into the teaching job, right? And it's not that I've waited. It's that I, I, never, I never had any guidance to think about this. And so I've had to like start my life and start my career at the same time that I was teaching myself a bunch of this shit in the background and I'm ready for it. It's just that you and Steve are like, really, you want to be educators. And I, and I genuinely enjoy the, the camaraderie here. And I think it's going to make me more productive as an individual because I have people to be accountable to that I care about. But more importantly, if, if we're able to share this, not only will it, the project get better because you'll bring your ideas in, but it will launch your career in ways that I wish I would have had for myself. And later in your career, that's what I was saying, like when you were saying about Simon and all those guys, like, you will have that authority. 